there. Now, I want to go back to the fact that you said New York Mets and the New York Yankees are the best two teams in all of baseball. I get what you're saying, that they salvaged the series there in Los Angeles, but you have to be fair, to use your words, be fair, be honest. It was the Dodgers' bullpen that screwed those last two games up. It could have very easily been a Dodgers sweep there at Chavez Ravine, but the bullpen gave it up. This is a team, both teams, that have pitchers on the shelf, Clayton Kershaw, Andrew Heaney. I am not saying Andrew Heaney is either Jacob DeGrom or Max Scherzer. I'm, I'm fair there as well. But they do have pitchers, both teams do, that have, you know, they're doing rehabs, they're waiting to get their way back, this, that, and the other thing. Please let's give Tony Gonsolin some credit. This is a kid that has done nothing but pitch out of his mind. Fourth in the major, second in the National League, a 159 earned run A, earned red average rather, behind only Nestor Cortez Jr. and Mackenzie Gore and Martin Perez. So Cortez of the Yankees, and Mackenzie Gore of the Padres, Martin Perez of the Rangers. He's 6-0 this year tied for second in Major League Baseball. You mentioned that they beat Bueller and they beat Urias. I understand that, but the Bueller that they beat is not the Bueller that we're used to seeing. He has struggled mightily. He's admitted that he's frustrated with the way that he's performing. He's 2-1, and one, a 6-6-6 six, six, six earned run average in that span. That's in his last five starts. That's not the Bueller that was given the opening day nod for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Both teams it's going to come down to what their ownership and management does at the deadline. They're going to get their pitchers back. You know Steve Cohen's going to spend money. You know Mark Walter is going to spend money at the deadline. This is their, It's going to be who has the best team who fits the pieces, mixes and matches, who covers up the holes going into September and into October. Two MVP candidates, one in Mookie Betts, one in Pete Alonso. These two teams, I think, are relatively well matched as far as teams in the National League. Both teams are going to the postseason. It will be interesting to see if there's another matchup between the Mets and the Dodgers in the postseason again. But to say that the Mets are the best team in the National League over the Dodgers or over any other team, I'm not so sure about that. I think they're very, very evenly matched, and the Dodger bullpen blew it the last two games. Well, don't forget it now. The Dodgers blew a 4-1 lead on Saturday because Alonso took Bueller deep in the fourth inning. And then they were up 5-4, and then they added four runs later on. So Buter could not handle the lead on Saturday night. Now, he's due for a loss. Un the guy's a great pitcher. Understood, understood. But this is, also, this is also Pete Alonzo, who's on fire, an MVP candidate for certain in the National League. And this is also Walker Buehler that has struggled mightily. It's not the same Walker Buehler that uh, we're used to seeing. So he's got to figure it out, no question about it. Because Clayton Kershaw is in a, you know, a rehab assignment right now. You're not certain what you're going to get from him. Obviously, Andrew Heaney is not Jacob DeGrom or Max Scherzer, but there are some missing. Dustin May is still on, on the IL. He'll probably come back in August, but you don't know what you're going to get from a kid coming off of Tommy John surgery. So, it's, I mean, they're both good. They're both making the postseason. I'm not willing to say yet that there's any one team that's going to win the division because it's June 6th, but all three of the teams that you talked about are in the postseason for sure. And by the way, the Dodgers, do yourself a favor, eliminate those old blue uniforms, which I saw on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> when you start maneuvering with uniforms of that heritage and that pedigree, and that's as nice a blue-white uniform as you're ever going to see in the sport, you don't fool around with the it Dodgers, because you want to make sure they have it in a because they have it in a team store. The Dodgers so you can white sell it. uniforms. All right, you go out there and you the put your regular uniforms up. Dodgers home. Dodgers home whites are the most beautiful uniform, in my opinion, other than the, the white Yankee pinstripe ones in the sport. 